walking. It is an easy way to boost your activity level. So how many steps do you try to get each day? You've probably heard that magic number is 10,000, but that might not be the right number for you. On this Wellness Wednesday, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why your step goal may be different and what actually matters more than that number. Smart watches and various fitness trackers have made it easier than ever to count your steps. Now, while it's a good way to encourage yourself to move more, there's nothing magic about that 10,000 steps number, at least when it comes to your health. Every step counts. 3,000, 8,000, 15,000 steps. How many do you take each day? Oh, that's easy, 20,000. About 8,000? Yeah, five to seven. Most fitness trackers recommend a goal of 10,000 steps a day or about five miles, but it turns out there's not a lot of scientific support behind this number. A 2019 Harvard study found regular walking did improve mortality rates in older women, but the reduction in risk appeared to max out at about 7,500 steps a day. A 2020 NIH study of almost 5,000 men and women found those who walked 8,000 steps a day were half as likely to die early than those who walked 4,000 steps a day. But the statistical benefits of walking more steps than that were not significant. Practically speaking, if you're already very fit or trying to lose weight, 10,000 steps a day may be too low of a goal. On the other hand, if walking is hard for you, 10,000 may be too much. What matters most is that you move more every day. Regular walking has been shown to promote weight loss, reduce your risk of a long list of diseases, improve your mental health, and boost your energy. Now, the average American only walks about three to 4,000 steps a day, and experts say if you want to boost your step count, track how much you're walking now and work toward adding 1,000 extra steps a day every two weeks. 